Welcome at KV2 Audio and SLA, Super Live Audio Technology. My name is Stefano Trevisan and with me is George Crampera, co-founder and head of R&D at KV2. The next video will cover the topic of human hearing perception. George, how well does our uh, listening apparatus work? It's an interesting question. No. It's, uh, it came from the human hearing, what we can hear. No? And uh, we can say that uh, we can define the level, we can have frequencies, and we have time. It's a three-dimensional limit here. No, usually talking about 120 dB. Here is 20 kilohertz, and here is five microseconds. Those are. Those are our limits. No. And then, uh, when we design the system, it should satisfy all those needs. No. Biggest problem is that time. No. If you look at 20 kilohertz, so 5 microseconds actually represent 200 kilohertz. No. And then lots of people start questioning how come, when we can hear 20 kilohertz, how we can hear 5 microseconds. It's just the time. It's coming to our ears now. The brain actually really can define the time now. And therefore, we have to design the system which will satisfy all those numbers. And based on that, to, to provide the five microseconds, let's say we need one microsecond. And our test shows that all the analog stuff, and mainly operational amplifiers, has to be better than one microsecond. Then frequency response, you know, 20 kilohertz, but to be able to reproduce correctly those frequencies, you need about 200 kilohertz. Now, bandwidth, power bandwidth. And this is question of the signal-to-noise ratio. That means when we turn down the system, it should be quiet. Now, and uh, that means in analog way, it's really easy to do. You know? It's more difficult to do it on digital domain. And for that reason, we, because <coughs> a standard uh, 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 digital systems, you know, which is typically PCM, are about 10 times slower than should be. You know? the, really, if you want to have PCM, we need one megahertz sampling to satisfy that number here. The five microseconds. Yeah, five microseconds. And now you can calculate from that what kind of level of DSP you need. And we're getting into the tens of gigahertz. Okay. Now, and for that reason, we actually developed our, our own system, which is single bit just a, a sigma delta modulator, which running at 20 megahertz. Interesting is, when we did the test, you take the flute, which is a, a typical velvet sound, no? and the flute is hard. At 5 megahertz, it's harsh. At 10 megahertz, it's still harsh. 15 megahertz are getting better, but at 22 megahertz, Fluid becomes smooth. No, yeah. so at it's well wet. At 20 and, megahertz PDM. And for that reason, and exactly, and for that reason, we're using the system PDM, no pulse density modulation, mm -hmm. no 20 megahertz. Pulse but pulse sigma density. delta modulator running at 500 kilohertz. No. <coughs> Which is, uh, when we look at the uh, 96 kilohertz, PCM, they're running at 40 kilohertz. Yeah. You can see here the differences. That means that part cannot reproduce the, the information about the time, which is information about the space. And that's why most of digital systems they don't have a depth to it. 
No ambience. No ambience, exactly, no dynamics. It feels like there are no dynamics. And there is a huge loss of information, huge, no? And which become very audible. The harmonic distortion is not as big problem for us. What is a much bigger problem, it's loss of information. It's the same thing, no? If I will say, Typical word, no. If I take this thing out, <laughs> okay. you still can read it. Yeah. No, but it's more difficult. That means if I take uh, from every letter in the book, every word, take one letter, you can read the book. No, but you're gonna get crazy. After a few pages, you're gonna turn yeah. it off. It's no, it's and it's overdrive. Yeah. It's overdrive. And, yeah, and that's what and that's what we call loss of information. Loss of information. And that would happen in typical <coughs> digital system. No. For a, a short distance when the losses in the air are very low, I think it's enough. No. And it's perfectly work. It's a, it's inexpensive. No. The whole <coughs> the, the market which is represented by the young kids they probably represent 90% of that market, no? It's perfectly okay, no? I remember when I was a little boy and making a radio, no? I was really happy to have a little transistor radio, no? That means whatever I have today, there is a huge step up, up no? Compared to what was done before, but cannot take the stage and put it between the audience. And that's our business. That's where we are different from the others. We are not going after SPL because we have enough SPL. It's about reproduction. No? It's about the reproduction, get that stage and put it yeah. into the audience. audience. Yeah. Interesting, when you get the sound correct and you satisfy all those numbers, no, <coughs> the uh, speaker boxes they just disappear. You don't know where they are. Everything comes from the air, yeah. from the space. No? And then people have an interesting, they just listen. Yeah. They got completely absorbed by the sound. No. Can we say that this, when you have all the information and no misinformation, it becomes transparent? Yeah, yeah. it is transparent. And, uh, and this is a, and all those standards of whatever we set up here, we call it SLA, no, super live audio. No, because there we're getting the perfect source. There's nothing better than original acoustic instruments, original sounds, you know, and now we can reproduce them. That means we need super digital, which is 20 megahertz. No, we need super analog, which must be better than one microsecond. And then what we need, we need super speakers, you no. Know? And we develop uh, uh, cabinets and speakers with extremely low distortion. No? Standard distortion is around 1% in speakers. No? And when you have a loss in information, that part actually covers the problem because you're actually producing distortion which masking the problem. But in the same time... Masking no? the loss of information. Yes, mm -hmm. but in the same time, no, it cannot provide all the information, whatever is there. And of course, as you're using, uh, <coughs> passing through the air, no, you're losing mainly high frequency. There is loss of information. Therefore, you're gonna be one meter from the system and sounds okay, you won't tell, almost won't tell the difference between super audio and standard, no. But when you get 50, 100 meters far, the standard, no, it's dull and dead. Super audio, you still can hear the symbols. Yep. No. So it's the definition at the at the output. Yeah. So that the whole and information. We is have reduced. speakers, no. Now typically it's one percent, but we have a speaker. When the dist distortion of the speaker, it's that. Extremely low distortion. And it's done in a very simple way. We just uh, <coughs> designed the speaker which have no inductance. No, 
the big problem on distortion on speaker is, is actually the harmonic distortion. And that came from the modulation of the coil, voice coil, inductance of the coil. Now, because as the coil is moving in the gap, it's changing inductance. As we change the inductance, we actually modulating the signal that causes a distortion. When we eliminate the inductance, no, then the distortion disappear. No. So can we say that having a fast circuitry till to, to the speaker, the fastest response, makes other problems very clear, like yeah. distortion. So uh, distortion yeah. of electronics or whatever yeah. is in the signal path. Yeah. Problem is, in this situation, you can hear the electronic in front of it. Yeah. That means you have to design very high quality electronics before. Now, otherwise, you're going to hear the distortion from it. And, uh, and that's why in the band from, uh, we can say 300 up to 6 kilohertz, 300 hertz, up to 6, uh, six kilohertz, now, in that area, the distortion should be very, very high, very, very low, no? It's uh, highly audible, any distortion in that area. Of course, when you have a speaker which is a 1%, you mask it, this thing. You don't hear it. Interesting, those speakers are available, available for everybody, no? But people don't use them because they think we can hear the distortion. No, they prefer to cover the distortion, no? But uh, for the long distance, for the life, this is essential yeah. to the high quality sound. So they're healing the symptoms. Yeah. Some people will say the speakers are slower than electronics. Advantage of the speakers, they don't have a feedback. No, correction. No, they got that, this, that level of distortion without correction. No, that correction, no, is actually one of the problem in analog or even with digital, no? Because the feedback, basically, it makes from the amplifier, it's like if you have an analog, if you can have an analog computer, no? Or digital computer. It's a similar thing, no? Advantage of the analog, no? We have this part here, no? If you, in digital, you take that part, you have to add it here. You change the level in the time, no? And if you have a 20 kilohertz and you get 100 dB, which is 100 times, 120 dB, it's million times, no? And we'll multiply that, no? You will end up with 20 gigahertz. This is what the DSP should be able to, yeah. to run at. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's the main advantage for that analog. And I think for the future, it's quite obvious. There is uh, one simple, um, let's say, problem to be solved. It's just to get the digital control analog. Then we get the best of the whole world, no? Yes. Can you say two words to the dynamics in, uh, in digital, the problem of the level in digital, having the level control at the end of the signal path? Uh, digital problem, um, there's a... Your dynamic definition now, what we can hear actually, it's limited by uh, if we're gonna, let's say, provide the distortion at a large signal, we can define signals down to minus 60 to 70 dB. That's the definition which we can have now. And uh, 70 dB definition, it's one, two, Thousand, one to three thousand. No, that mean. But in the digital, as you have a sample, no, your dynamic definition is this part. No, and uh, you will find out at five kilohertz you have a fifteen dB of dynamics of uh, di uh, dynamic definition. Definition. Yeah. No. And uh, lots of people will say, yeah, but you cannot hear it, it's, it's about 20 kilohertz. Yeah, but how come we can hear five microseconds? Yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.